Hi, this is Michael for CodeThings.org, and today we're going to code things with ButterKnife, a few injection library for Android. Okay, let's get started. I've prepared a sample application which I'm going to refactor with ButterKnife. Imagine this as a control for a player in a game, where you can move the player left, right, up and down. The player can perform specific actions like jump, duck or fire, and you have a little inventory with your potions and you can take those potions. Behind this UI there is the main activity class. It's pretty straightforward. All the views are being assigned by a call to find view by ID. And we have one instance of the player listener which is an inner class and it just finds out which view which button actually got pressed and then calls the appropriate method. In the methods itself, uh, we just log what happened uh, to the debug console. On the list, on the inventory, we have an on item click listener, which also just prints out the item at that position. In the on resume method, we receive the current player and if the player can move, we enable the navigations for up, down, left and right. And if he's not able to move, we disable them. What I will do now is I will refactor this sample application using ButterKnife and three of its, in my opinion, most important features. Part one will deal with the find view by ID lookup method and will replace that via annotations. Part two will be about simplifying the listeners. And finally, part three will be about aggregating few manipulations, like the few manipulations we have in the on resume method. So at first, we are going to add the dependency to our build Gradle file. We are syncing our project. So now, instead of assigning the views by looking them up via find view by ID, we can simply inject them. Therefore, we use the annotation inject view, given the ID of the view we want to inject. So in this case, up. So now we're going to do this for all of the buttons and we have to change the visibility from private to public, protected or package visibility in order to um, have button knife injecting those views. One last thing we have to do is we have to actually call button knife inject this in order to have it really wired together. So now we can delete all the calls to find view by ID. Part two is about simplifying the listeners. So instead of having one listener deciding on which button was pressed and then call the appropriate method, we can directly annotate the method with the annotation on click, giving the ID of the button. We also have to change the visibility again from private to public, protected or package visibility. Going to do this for all of the buttons. Now we can remove the listener as well as the all calls to set on click listener. So 
So now we did it for buttons, we can do it for the list as well. So instead of on click, we use the annotation on item click, pass it the ID of the list. Let's call the method on click inventory and with a parameter position. And then we can just use that part from the listener above to print out the item which was clicked on. So now we can also remove this listener. And as you see, we already can remove the jump, the fire and the duck button from the injections because there is no need anymore. And our code got a little bit cleaner. Part three, aggregating multiple view manipulations. So as you see in the on resume method, we have eight calls to uh, set enabled. So what we're going to do now is we use button knife action interface to um, aggregate those calls. Therefore I'm creating a class actions, which is a lookup class for all the actions we are going to implement. So we're implementing an enabled and a disabled action. With the generic type view and let's call it enable As you see, we have to implement this interface and all we're gonna do in the apply method is we have a call to view set enable to true. We're gonna copy it and name it disable. And instead of passing in true, we're passing in false. So what we can do now in butter knife is we can apply those actions to a group of views. So therefore, at first we have to aggregate our views and we can do this by the annotation inject views and we pass it all the IDs of the views we want to inject. And we're going to inject this into a list of views and let's call it navigation buttons. And what we can do now is we can get rid of all those calls and simply go button knife apply to the navigation buttons, the action enable, and if the player cannot move, we apply the action disable. Now we can get rid of all the individual inject views of the buttons because they are now in the navigation buttons group. So I think you got an impression of what you can do and achieve with button knife. In my opinion it's a nice library. It lets you focus on the logic you want to implement and not on the glue code you have to write for adding listeners or looking up views. I hope you liked this video, let me know what you think in the comment section and remember to check out my blog at codethings.org and hope to see you soon.